Oh, hi everyone. How's it going? So, today I thought we could do some uh, multitasking because I really wanted to do some commentary on AQ40 um, just so, you know, um, okay, this is already off to a bad start. I, yeah, basically wanted to put some commentary on just um, detailing my experiences so far in AQ40. Now, we actually did AQ40 on Monday night, so this was... Um, the first time we'd actually ever done it and this is the first time I'd done it and I we didn't do the whole thing because we started off doing Molten Core which you know was pretty fun so yeah we finished off Molten Core and went into AQ40 and uh, to be honest it wasn't really as hard as we thought so these guys at the beginning basically my understanding is and I am just um, a simple warrior you basically need to kill them in a certain order and I think they've got random attributes and when you heal one of these guys all of their abilities get passed on to <clears throat> another member of the four so it's um, really important that you actually know what you're doing with these guys but we didn't actually have any problems at all so this was yeah fairly successful I would say I'm also going to be playing um, a little bit of well leveling on um, a new mage character that I've got as you guys can see and you can probably see my uh, beautiful face <laughs> so yeah all in all this is uh, gonna be fun with multitasking and at the top left you can probably see I've got um, a list of all the bosses um, that we that we basically covered um, let me think we definitely got to rank Chris the unyielding anyway so that was pretty good I think you know, for basically, like, just for a little bit of a muck around. Um, I also think that we didn't wipe at all, which was, you know, fairly good. I I did actually die once, but that's partly because of sort of my own incompetence, but you'll sort of see that later on in the video. Um, uh, I, I also released um, a video version of this, which was at 150% uh, speed. And I kind of thought that people could watch that um, and stuff, but the problem is it was, I don't know, kind of gave me a bit of a headache watching it because, you know, the camera angles on World of Warcraft are just kind of crazy. <laughs> um, so I thought I would do a sort of slower version with a nice bit of commentary and you guys can watch me level up. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I can't really see what I'm doing in um, Classic WoW. Okay, so this is sort of like um, a pre-boss, I, I guess. Um, kind of just like a random mob. I uh, don't think there's anything particularly special about them, though, I don't know, they went down pretty easy. Uh, one of the things I will say about AQ40 is we had quite long pauses between the different boss fights, and this was so that we could talk about tactics, exactly what we were going to do, etc. And, I don't know, all in all it works out pretty well, I think. So, as you guys can probably see, I'm um, usually a sort of DPS warrior. And I really enjoy just being DPS because I think it's one of the easiest roles in the game. So, basically, if something's got a smut skull on it, you generally smack it. Uh, you don't pull any mobs um, if you can help it. And But, yeah, um, I think most people are pretty good at that at this point. And as you can see, we've sort of run into the boss now, so I think I might have accidentally skipped over for four guardians, but they didn't really do anything that interesting anyway. So uh, yeah, our tactics on here were to get into four groups basically. So all of us had our um, own area to kind of patrol. And I think when the boss gets down to about 75%, 50% and 25% health, they split into four basically, so even though the boss's health is fairly low, it's, I don't know, kind of really annoying, and as you can see, I kind of panic a bit because I, I start getting attacked, so I put a shield on later. You also notice that this boss likes to turn our own party members um, against us, so I think um, as a warrior, if you... Um, I can't remember what the ability name is, but basically fear, you need to um, blow your fear 
because otherwise you can end up fearing your own people and you know that's obviously really bad but yeah this this guy was kind of tricky and I was really nervous to be honest I've not really done AQ 40 before like ever um, I mean I did it in um, retail but you know that was like 120 basically going through it just clearing everything but visitors I couldn't kill visitors because he's only um, he only takes um, cold damage basically so um, yeah this was like the first time I've ever done this um, back in retail I never really got this far so I I think everyone was kind of feeling quite nervous and stuff as you can see the, the guy there is attacking me and you know thanks to our wonderful healers I managed to keep on my well buffs and stuff um, but I'm sort of panicking right now thinking oh my goodness what the heck is happening um, I don't want to kill him just in case so yeah we've sheeped him now um, and he's um, sort of back up to full health uh, I've shoved on my shield and my one-handed um, hammer claw thing um, just because it's a it's a sort of reflex almost you know I uh, used to be sort of a um, hybrid tank basically so I would do a bit of damage and I would also you know do a lot of off tanking and stuff so um, putting on a shield and stuff is sort of still second nature to me um, and you know it it's saved um, a raider a bunch of times but I've done that but yeah this boss wasn't too bad I mean I suppose it was um, slightly frustrating but you know a lot of the um, enemies were sort of actually illusions and um, I don't know if you can actually tell who the original is so I don't know I think um, maybe we panicked a bit but you know we got a handle on it pretty quickly and it it went down pretty well I think really although next time I think we'd probably handle the aggro a little bit better possibly but maybe that's just me I mean probably everyone performed better than I did <laughs> so as you can see he dropped some um, sweet ass loot um, problem is he dropped blacksmithing plans which I really wanted but apparently the guild is gonna give everyone well it is gonna give um, the blacksmithing plans to one person who can forge everything for us so I, I guess that's kind of sensible though if I'm honest I really wanted to just get my hands on them <laughs> uh, I mean of course I'd still forge everything for everyone but I suppose it's easier if one person has them all but yeah I'm not at all resentful or anything like that but look at them they're really nice when struck by a non-periodic damage um, etc <laughs> didn't quite read that so yeah we're um we've kind of jumped further on and now we're um, killing just a random mob, I guess. Um, these tall guys go down pretty easy, if I'm honest. There's nothing really to them. But the bugs have kind of a fun slash annoying little quirk. Which is um, basically when you kill them, they kind of make you fly off in random directions. Now, everyone already sort of knew about this. And as a warrior, you can use your charge ability and you'll sort of be, you know, pulled back down to earth. But basically think about this as Gar on steroids. Or to be honest, it's easier than Gar. Gar being the boss in Molten Core, which I'm sure we've all killed loads of times if we're active players. But, um, yeah, it's not so bad. I think we're running down here and we're sticking to the left. Again, we were quite cautious about a lot of this because this was our first run and we, you know, wanted to basically, this wasn't like a full run. It was never intended to be like a full run or anything like that. So we were literally just, um, you know, learning a bit about the difficulty and, you know, stuff like that. And um, like I said, we also did Molten Core on Monday. Um, I think we're going to complete this quest today, actually. Today being Wednesday. Did I say quest? I meant we're going to complete AQ40 today, hopefully. Here's the problem with um, recording video like this. It takes up a lot of memory, and I don't have that much memory on my computer. I think I've got about two gig two terabyte. Oh, I don't even know. Two hundred gigabytes, maybe. I I can't even recall. But um, I've got more than that. I've got um, quite a lot. But um, a anyway, yeah. Um, video still takes up a lot of memory, so it's good to kind of you know delete it. Um, <laughs> and I'm just keeping, you know, it on YouTube and BitChute as a sort of backup. 
So again, we're just killing a few random mobs down here. Um, nothing too taxing or anything. Um, like I said, it's quite fun being a Fury Warrior because most of what you do is simply smack things with a sword. So, you know, whatever has a skull on it, you kind of smack it with your sword. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't get any healing assignments or anything like that. It's simply, you know, get your sword and smashy smashy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's kind of fun. Also, if you throw in a few blood firsts and whirlwinds, that always goes down quite well because it puts your damage up. Um... So, my mage is doing quite well. Um, I mean, I started him yesterday, I'm already level 9. I can't really see what I'm doing in the game, but I can see what's an enemy and what isn't an enemy, so I'm just killing these quill war things. Which, you know, I suppose is pretty productive. Um, yeah, so these um, purple insects, like I say, when you kill them, they explode. And you basically need to have something above you so if you're in a little alcove or something that's absolutely perfect because it will stop you pulling extra mobs and that can be kind of annoying if you're pulling extra mobs though you know I'm sure we could handle the extra mobs it's just um, controlling everything is controlling things is the secret to power <laughs> and I do apologize as a warrior I'm obviously pretty close to the action here. Oh! Okay. I died. I was watching the the gameplay too much. Um, so, okay, there's these chests in the... There's these chests which you need to get keys for. And I think someone gets a key... Um, I don't know if I actually opened one of these chests though, but... Um, you get a key to open the chest. The chests look like, I don't know, you really want to just get in there and open them, don't you? You know, it would almost be fun if you killed the bosses, you um, picked up the object which all the bosses drop, and that was a key that you could open chests with. Uh-huh. Oh, one of the other interesting things about this instance, and this is the first time Blizzard has um, done this, at least 14 years ago it was, there's um, about 10 quests which you actually get in here and you get items off bosses and you get random rolls and stuff and then you can pick up items basically. So it's sort of um, semi quest based and semi um, luck based I guess. I don't know why they've done this really, it would be fine just to have the items drop off um, for bosses like normal but you know I suppose they decided to go with this. So to be honest, I should not be dying on these quill balls. Also, I don't know why I didn't cut this out of the video, because this is clearly um, a bit of filler. But never mind, we've pulled a few more mobs. <laughs> By the way, if you're interested in the guys, this is going to go on for a while. Perhaps I should have just um, cut to the bosses, perhaps that would have been... What?! Oh dear, goodness me, this is appalling. Um, okay, so I know I'm a man, but I'm generally pretty good at multitasking, but evidently not today. <laughs> I don't know. Big moving thing kind of distracts more than a small moving thing, I guess. I'm not worried about the repair bill or anything, because I've... Um, got about 1,500 gold on my other character, so if I need some money I can just transfer it over. It's, it's kind of annoying. Um, anyway, these mobs went down pretty easy, and I'm thinking I should have sped this up a bit, but um, we're pulling the mobs back basically under that alcove, so Obviously we're taking down these guys first, and we go down fairly easily, and then we're going to go kill the other guys who are sort of currently being tanked, I believe. Okay, I'm kind of concentrating on my active game right now a little bit. 
because I really don't want to, you know, get exploded again. Give me a health potion. Yes. So I do love leveling a mage, guys. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Until something more interesting happens in the video. Oh. This is just sad. <laughs> Here's the problem. I think um, around about now, level 9, level 10, I could get Frost Nova. And Frost Nova is going to make a huge difference, basically. Okay, interesting thing happening now. So, um, we've done the Prophet Skirum. That was the um, boss that kept making the copies of itself. So now we're on the Silithoid Royalty. And I think we were actually the fourth fastest horde group on the server to do this. Now, obviously, I think this is an optional boss. But these went down pretty easy. Um, one thing I would recommend is you get the Orb of Noxium which gives you, I think it's 10 nature resistance, and it also allows you to get rid of your poison, and you can have two equipped at the same time, I believe. But I don't know if you can use both. But, um, anyway, I know a lot of people did actually use the Orb of Noxian here. Um, but, yeah, I, I think possibly one of the reasons why we um, did this these boss so quickly is because we didn't use... Um, too much nature resistance gear and perhaps other people did uh, I don't know but anyway we like I say it was the fourth fastest on the server currently so that's kind of cool um, and if you're interested we're Pyrewood Village and we're the Pirates Guild very good fun guild um, so yeah I'm gonna try not to be killed by like little baby quill balls here because that's just kind of embarrassing um, the royalty went down fairly easily, in my opinion. Um, nothing particularly special, just avoid the poison that the enemies drop. Um, because I'm a fury warrior, we're kind of immune to fear, mostly, if you use um, one of three abilities, basically. So, I fear no evil, I guess. I fear no insects. These queer balls, what the heck do they call them? Quill balls are not going to get me again, guys. Um, okay, um, let me. Die, piggy, die. So, yeah, they drop different things when you kill these, um, pre silivoid royalty, basically. So, one of them will, for example, drop a load of poison cloud. I can't do this. I can't multitask. <laughs> I just literally can't multitask. Sorry, my finger hurt it, Ben. Yeah, so someone was teasing me with these bloody boots. Um... I don't quite know why they posted them, because I would actually love those boots, because they're better than what I currently have, and they've got the hit, and I don't know why he, he actually posted that, but you know, those, those boots of the Fallen Hero would have been freaking amazing. Maybe he was just saying these could potentially drop, or, you know, maybe they did drop. Look at them. They have one hit on them. And they were just awesome. I did ask about the boots, and no one actually knew what the heck I was talking about. So maybe someone with the highest DKP got them, and that was sort of the end of it. Or, alternately, maybe they didn't actually drop and someone was just posting them, sort of saying, look, this could potentially drop. I don't know. Um, I'm sure it all worked out for the best, but I don't know. I was just super jealous because part of the problem with needing 9% hit rating is you don't always use your best items with the most attack power. So, for example, I've got two sets of gloves. I've got my DPS gloves, and I've got my gloves, which are more defensive, but they've got hit on them. 
So if I have both shoes with um, plus one percent hit, that will mean I could use my gloves, which do a lot more damage. Basically, that would raise my overall DPS. So I don't know. I really want a pair of those boots at the end of the day. That's the moral of the story. I think I'm going to try to get out of here, guys, because um, I'm just dying a ludicrous amount of times. Which I shouldn't be on these relatively low level mobs. Once you they really pack a punch for level 8s and things. Yeah, so the bosses drop various idols and sort of things, so it's a similar situation to Zorgorub, where you get a lot of different items. So not quite as bad as Zorgorub, to be honest. Um, seems a little bit better. But even Zorgarab isn't that bad. It's just random items. Like, here's the thing. I don't see why you would actually need like a particular item for like to get your warrior gear. You, you know, there's three different items for your braces, your breastplate, and your legs, is it? I don't see why they really needed to put that in. They could just leave it reputation-based, but... I don't know. I suppose they like cluttering up people's inventory. So, I'm not the best person at levelling. I never have been. When I actually get to level 10, I think I'll be a lot better at um, levelling, basically. And I already think my spells are slightly out of date, so I really should go update them, I guess. But, I don't know, it'd be nice if I just get to level 10 first. So part of the problem I've got when I'm editing videos is, because this is all in 4K, I um, I kind of really struggle sometimes to cut it all down to the proper size. I'm also slightly concerned. I'm going to just check my memory, guys, because uh, I've got about 20 gigabytes of um, memory for this video. But if I run out of memory, then it's going to kind of cut off and destroy everything. So let me just have a little look at my memory. How much memory do we have? I've got 13.8 gigabytes of memory left <laughs> before this runs out. And I'm not entirely confident that I'm not going to burn through that. So let me think. What can I delete? Can I just delete the base footage from um, to make you... I can, and I have. Oh, but I can also delete the um, test video. Okay. Okay, this might not be the most compelling. Um, wait, let me just... Um, okay, so we're running through an area at the moment where there's a lot of those explodey guys. And we're basically going to pull them all back to a certain area so we don't kind of get thrown off so that's basically what's happening and am I being attacked by another quill ball thing yes I am I need to go empty the recycle bin before the video crashes And hypothetically, I suppose I could lower the quality of the recording, but that's no fun, is it? Or I could hypothetically um, record onto a different hard drive, but again, that's no fun. Okay, he's attacking me. So yeah, the um, name of the game is to basically pull the enemy back uh, as much as we can and to kill them off in a certain location. Perhaps this was slightly more sloppy than would have been ideal, but you know, next time we'll know, won't we? I guess. Um, okay. Let me take a pie and some water. Now I can go to my recycle bin and delete all that junk. Right, where's my recycle bin? I don't know. 
We need to go to the desktop to get the recycle bin. This is epic. Ooh, do you find the recycle bin in time? Will the video crash and burn? Find out next week on this exciting adventure of where is the recycle bin gone? Oh. So yeah, sorry, this is really compelling commentary. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to go to Windows, guys, and I'm gonna have to ask for the... Recycle bin shortcut. Windows R, run prompt, type shell desktop, and press enter. Then have access to the recycle bin. I'm just going to risk minimizing this, guys. Uh, it might uh, uh, crash. Um, hopefully not. Empty recycle bin. Yes. Woohoo! Now, hopefully, this um, didn't all go black, guys. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I do apologize. So, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're just killing these um, explodey guys still. Fun. And they're not going to throw us against the wall, hopefully. Although they did just throw someone over there. And I think that might have pulled more mobs. I, I actually think we might have pulled more mobs before this. So, next time I think we'll just clear all the mobs, basically. <clears throat> it's a bit like um, trial and error, you know, this was the first time we'd ever done this. So, next time we'll know a little bit better. Doesn't it take ages to level anything in World Classic? You know, you think if I was in um, retail WoW right now, I'd be, you know, shooting my machine gun, killing millions of enemies in every second, and, you know, I could just basically sit in a um, queue, doing very little, just throwing the occasional fireball, and I'd be level 60 by the time I'm level 30 in retail. Ah, see, now here's the problem. Um, I died on this boss. Now, I think this was partly because I was slightly distracted, but um, I think it was also slightly because we... I really don't want to die again of these stupid quill balls. They're so annoying. Talking of being distracted... Um... So I think I sped this bit up a little bit. Uh, I just basically wanted to um, prove that the guild didn't wipe at all over the first few bosses here. Um, so that's kind of why I left it in. Maybe it's a vanity thing, I don't know. But um, basically we learnt how to handle this boss very well. All you have to do as a warrior is when it starts spinning, you really, really, really need to pull loads of um, aggro and you need to um, sort of growl at it if you're a bear, basically. So you basically, yeah, you really need to hold it because when it's spinning, the aggro kind of gets blown off. So as you can see, my uh, threat meter is kind of going a bit crazy. So it's Angel Blade, it's Kali, it's no one knows what's going on. Um, so yeah, just holding the threat is like the most important thing for this boss. Because then it doesn't spin around and kill everyone, it just kills me, <laughs> apparently. Ah... <sighs> But yeah, um, I was kind of disappointed that I died on this boss, but um, slightly distracted and I don't know, I don't think there's much I really could have done, to be honest, to prevent it. Could be wrong though. But yeah, next time we'll definitely learn to um, hold the aggro. And you only need to grab it basically when it's um, spinning, so I don't know, I really want to wanted to play something like I'm spinning around get out of my way please don't copyright strike me <laughs> but um yeah I don't mean this boss is too bad I think it just takes a while because like I say a few people went down so that's the 
DPS out of a window, basically. But this was the only boss we had a minor problem on, and I think next time it's not going to be a problem at all. And I tell you what, I can't wait for part two, which happens tonight. It's going to be really fun to uh, see if we get to Cthulhu and, um, you know, what, what sort of happens there. There's a few people down there. Rubbing in the fact that they don't, we don't actually. Look, have I actually completed any quests, or have I just been killing random mobs? Uh, there's a few mobs up there. I could go and um, attack, I suppose. Very hard to see with such a little window. Anyway, look, guys, we're all being rezzed up, which is great. Woohoo! And um, so what happened is we were all rezzed. And now we are doing a sort of suppression room type thing, right? So, with the suppression room, everyone has to keep moving. You just have to keep moving, 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 okay? Um, the blue guys, you need to sort of um, beat up, I guess, um, swing your sword at them. Uh, I always find my Whirly Wind and Bloodlust to be um, really good here. And if you look at my character, I'm pretty much permanently doing damage in this... Um, sort of suppression room type situation and um yeah to be honest no spoilers but we get through this okay so um i'd actually play through this on retail as my um 120 character and i kind of thought to myself mm, that's going to be really interesting perhaps difficult getting through that part but it wasn't actually too bad um if we did make any mistakes it was that we didn't quite keep moving as much as we could have you know, so um, there was a little bit of stopping just to kill a few mobs and stuff, but there are a lot of respawns, so you really need to just get through this. I should imagine it's pretty hard on um, mana users just getting all the way through this to the end. But um, yeah, we, we kind of do it okay, I guess. I don't know, I think we might lose one person in here, but um, generally speaking, it's very good. I also love how much reputation we we're getting with Brood of um, Nor... I can't even say the word, but you can see it on the screen. Nozdormu. I don't know, it just sounds wrong when I say it. So I think we're getting 100 for every big blue bug we slay. Which is pretty good. Gosh, I really don't like levelling a low-level character. I mean, I, I don't mind it, it's kind of relaxing, I guess, but I don't know, it's just so repetitive. It's kill 16 of these people and kill 8 of these people, and I mean, at least later on with quests, there's a bit more, you know, variety, and you get to do a lot more stuff with teamwork and stuff, but... Anyway, yeah, we, we get through this okay, so you guys can see, um, first time, which was pretty good. Uh, mind you, I suppose our guild has never really had a problem with um, suppression room type situations, you know, I think first time we did the suppression room in Blackwing Lair, we just got through that fine. Although maybe I'm misremembering it, I can't really recall, but I think that was the situation. So yeah, at least I'm um, getting these quill balls this time and I'm sort of getting some... Um, <clears throat> I'm completing the quest. So, we're hiding on the wall here, okay, but then we go into another little crack, basically, and there were no mobs. The crack was on the left-hand side, if you're wondering, guys, and it, it's kind of described as um, a big butt, basically, so we all went into the big butt and um, were protected. So this, um, yeah, we're on Fan Chris the Unyielding, and apparently quite a few people had problems on this boss. Uh, we... We didn't really have um, that many problems. Uh, apparently for DPS, the secret is to get in his butt too. So this is all about getting it close into people's butts. I think if you're too far back, his tail does quite a lot of damage to you. So stay stay in his kind of butt area um, <laughs> is my advice. I lap big butts in again, not lap. Also, when the yellow snake comes, kill the yellow snake, right? No one likes yellow snakes. So yeah, get the stupid yellow snake down ASAP. And stay in his butt. 
And look, um, if you're like not a Fury warrior, then there might be a lot more to the fight. But yeah, if you just stay in the big yellow guy's butt as much as possible and do AOE damage, um, mages here really shine. So we've got some great mages in the guild, and as you can see, they <clears throat> are doing most of the damage here. Which, you know, is understandable because mages are the best at AoE and look, I'm currently leveling a mage, what a coincidence. I don't know, I've always liked mages anyway. I just haven't really bothered leveling one so far. Um, I know you can do some amazing things with mages. Oh, right here I was teleported into the corner and I was sort of wrapped up in a sort of slightly kinky way, so that was interesting. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this was the last boss that we really killed in here, and we killed quite a lot of trash mobs and stuff, but this was um, the last big one, I guess. So, uh, I guess we're sort of approaching near the end of the video anyway. I do apologise if I wasn't completely fluent during the whole video, and, <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of vaguely hilarious that I died so many times, but I'll let you be the judge of that, potentially... Yeah, so there's some really good loot in here, but I don't know, not really for the Fury Warrior. Um, like I say, the only loot I was super interested in were those boots, because not only would they be an upgrade on the on my DPS Warrior, they would um, also provide me with one hit, as I said before, so uh, I don't know, I was kind of upset about the boots. Maybe someone was just teasing or something, but I wanted them... I probably didn't have the highest DKP, so it's fine. But I, I don't know, nobody actually said anything about that. Or, you know, maybe I don't have them on my bis and someone did, so it was all done through whispers, perhaps. But, anyway, I didn't get the booties. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know, the contrast is kind of amazing, isn't it? So, on the one hand, I've got um, I've got my Frost Mage down here. Well, it's actually just a Mage Mage at the moment. It's not really anything to do with Frost until I get to level 10. Um, and up here, you've got, you know, sort of the highest end content right now. So, it's... I don't know. Philosophical. Let's just say it's philosophical. So, yeah, I was strangely obsessed with getting up to the left-hand side here because it looked really cool. But the only things that um, that you're meant to be focusing on are these guys, and I think we pull these guys back to a certain point on the ground, right? Apparently, you need to be in the light when you pull here. If you go in, in the shadow, you're probably going to die. So you need to fight in the light. See, I'm giving away all the secrets, but uh, I suppose it's not really a secret. So as you guys can see in a minute, we have to um, all stay on the scorpions, basically. So we don't go too far forward here. And I think we're literally just pulling over some mobs and destroying them and pulling over a few more mobs and destroying them too. Um, so, yeah, nothing too challenging. To be honest, I really wish we'd have um, attempted the boss, but um, with Molten Core and everything else, um, it was getting a little bit late and we were also quite cautious. Understandably, because we don't really know how powerful mobs are going to be etc and you know we wanted to make sure we did everything correctly so next time we're going to be a lot bolder you know I mean we can do um, Molten Core and Blackwing Lair in one session so it'd be really nice if we could um, do this and I don't know Molten Core or Blackwing Lair at the same, on the same day but I don't know I get the feeling AQ40 is going to take um, longer for a while until we really get up to speed with farming and I also want to see Visitus because he looks terrifying, if I'm honest. I've got my ice weapons ready to go. And I've got all my nature resistance gear too, so I can do a lot of soaking and stuff. Um, I think that's also one of the reasons why we didn't go any further than this. Um, apart from the time restraint, it was about 10 o'clock when we ended. Oh, you can probably see up here, yeah. Um, so it was about 10.55. So in English time, that was about nine. 
10.55, so it was coming up to 10 o'clock, which is usually our cutoff. We sometimes go to 10.30, but um, yeah, we're trying to keep it to 10, basically, because some people have to be up for work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a very considerate guild. It's 8.30 till 10 server time, so I, I think that's pretty reasonable. For doing a lot of the content. So as you guys can see, we're just pulling the last of the mobs here. Video's almost over. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. And this is the first time I've done anything like this. So please let me know if, if you have enjoyed this. Because if you don't let me know, then I won't do another video. <laughs> you won't get to watch it. Again, someone pointed out that, you know, us warriors usually do a lot more damage. I think one of the reasons why mages don't do that much damage in Blackwing Lair and Molten Core is because they have to be frost, because a lot of mobs are going to be resistant to fire damage, so they have to be frost, and frost is fantastic for the utility, and you know, mages are incredibly important, but... Okay, so that is literally the end. Now that mages can be fire, in AQ40, they're going to be doing a heck of a lot more damage, so that's very fun, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe, etc., and I will speak to you soon.